It's impossible. Okay, so have you ever been given an impossible task? <laughs> I'm sure you have. You know, sometimes God's word gives us impossible tasks. Uh, for example, Romans chapter 12, verses 1 through 2. Here, let me read it to you. It's familiar. You'll probably recognize it. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good, acceptable, and perfect. So, in a nutshell, what is Paul trying to say in those two verses? It's kind of simple. What he, he's talking to believers, and he's saying this. He's saying, Christians, believers, listen. The whole Christian life is worship to God. All of your life, you need to be submitting, sacrificing of yourself to God. That is your worship. And Paul specifically says one of the ways in which Christians do this is we discern the will of God, right? One of the ways we worship God every day with ourselves, with our minds, is we submit our minds to God and we discern his will. That sounds kind of impossible, doesn't it? I, I mean, I don't know about you, but half the time I don't know, you know, what I'm thinking, let alone what other people are thinking. And, and how in the world am I supposed to know what God is thinking, right? But why is it impossible? Maybe there's a reason. Look here at verse 1 again. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, watch this, by the mercies of God to present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Did you catch that? How is it that we're supposed to live a life of worship and discern the will of God? How are we supposed to do that? Not on our own strength. Not in my own power. It's something that's done by the mercies of God. I need God to help me do this. I do, don't I? And Paul actually even explains kind of how that, how that works. He says, do not be conformed to this world. Right? So what does that mean? That means hey, don't think like the world. Don't act like the world. Don't imitate the world. Right? Hey, don't be concerned with the things the world is concerned about. The world is concerned about appearance and and the outside, God is concerned with the heart, right? The, the world is concerned with its own fame and its own glory. God is concerned with his fame and his glory. So instead of looking like the world, we actually, instead, we need to let our minds be transformed. Now, this is important. Don't miss this. Paul doesn't say, hey, Christian, if you want to know the will of God, you need to transform your mind. No, no, no. He says passively. He says you need to let God transform your mind. You need to be transformed. Time out, pause. Why am I even talking about all of this? Um, here's why. We're in a time right now where, hey, maybe you're concerned about the future. You know, maybe you're a senior and half of your school year just got ruined and you're wondering like, how does this affect graduation? What am I supposed to do about college? What am I supposed to do about work? Maybe you're a parent right now and you've got all the kids at home and you're trying to figure out how do I do this education thing with them? How do I help my family and all this craziness? Maybe you got family that is sick or hurting and you're wondering, what do I do? What do I say? What do I pray? We need to know God's will. God knows that. We need to know his will. And Paul is helping us here. It's not an impossible thing, but it does require that we not have our minds think like the world. It requires us to submit our minds to his word. How do I transform my mind? How do I let my mind be transformed? I let God's word pour over my mind constantly. I go to his word, his truths, his promises, his commands, and I just constantly feed them. I, I let the word of God Fill me richly. And as the word of God just like washes over my mind, renews my mind, I, I actually begin to think less like me and less like the world, but, but more like God. And then I can know his will. 
you know, it would be wonderful if I could just open this Bible and go, oh, God's telling John to do this today, right? Like, that would be great, wouldn't it? But, but it's not the way it works. Instead, God doesn't want to do things that way. God, God wants our minds to be transformed. He wants us to know his will in a very deep and, and real way. So, hey, listen, I hope that was encouraging to y'all. I, I hope that... Uh, I hope that it was challenging to you. Listen, let the word of God transform you so you can know what God wants from you. It's not impossible. God bless. Hey, Sarah, can, can you open this for me? I, 